Hi, this is the Web Guru, and I'm going to show you my favorite shortcuts for advanced users. The first is switching panels. You can easily use Shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3, and Shift 4 to switch between the most common panels in Premiere. And as a bonus, you can use Shift 5 to bring up the Effect Controls panel, and Shift 7 to bring up the Effects panel. This is much faster than using your mouse or the window menu. Next is Match Frame. So here's a clip in the timeline, and I would like to find the source clip. Now I could go to the project panel and try to find it in here, but much faster is inside of the timeline, I just have to click on F, and it will automatically find the clip and load the clip inside of the source monitor and also find the exact frame that I am on. Next is paste attributes. So I have created some keyframes on this gorilla clip along with adding some effects to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this clip using Command C, Control C on Windows, and then I am going to go to the next clip and I'm going to choose Edit, Paste Attributes, or better yet, Option Command V on Mac or Alt Control V on Windows. And now I can pick and choose what gets pasted. The keyframes would be under the Motion tab, and then I have several effects here too. Then I can click on OK, and now I have automatically pasted all of my work from one clip onto another clip. Next is Master Clip Effects. I'm going to switch to the Color Workspace, which will bring up the Lumetri Color Panel. And here in the timeline, I have two clips that are from the same interview. So both of these timeline clips come from the same master clip in the Project Panel. Now, in Lumetri Color, by default, if I make a change, so I'm going to just lower the saturation so that it's easy to see what I'm doing. When I make a change, I'm only changing an individual timeline clip. So I'm going to undo that. Now if I want to change the master clip, all I have to do in, is inside of Lumetri Color, I just click on the Master tab. Now if I make that same change, I'm just going to lower the saturation here. And so it will apply to all of the clips in the timeline. This is a great way to do color correction. Next is a replace edit. So I'm going to go back to the editing workspace for this. So here's a clip of a gorilla, and I'd like to replace it with this clip of the elephant. So all I need to do is option drag or alt drag on Windows, the elephant onto the gorilla, and it will replace the clip It'll keep the same duration, it'll keep the transitions, and it'll even keep whatever keyframes or effects I have on the clip. It will simply replace the clip. So next is Global FX Mute. So here on this clip uh, of an alligator, if I go into the Effect Controls panel, I've applied a lot of effects. I have Lumetri Color, Gaussian Blur, and several others. And I am going to go to the Program Monitor, and drag the Global FX Mute button down to my control bar. Now, when I click on this button, Global FX Mute, it'll toggle all of the effects on and off at the same time. So rather than having to do it individually here in the Effect Controls panel, I can do it with a single click. Next is adding keyframes. Make sure you have the selection tool for this, and then inside of the timeline, I can easily add keyframes to an audio clip with command click, control click on Windows, and then I can adjust the volume by adjusting the keyframes. So now I can create a nice smooth transition, and I can do the same thing on a video clip. So I'll command click or control click, to create multiple keyframes, and now I can adjust the opacity over time. 
Finally, let's talk about playback speed. Most people know about J, K, and L to play through the timeline at different speeds, but don't you wish you had more control? YouTube videos allow us to play at 1.5 speed or 1.25 speed very easily. Premiere does too, but it's hidden. So I'm gonna hit the space bar just to play at normal speed, and then Shift L will make it go a little bit faster, then Shift L again, Shift L again. Now, if I hit Shift J, it'll go a little bit slower, then a little bit slower, and then back to normal. So you can use Shift L to speed up playback slightly, and you can use Shift J to slow down playback slightly. So this will give you more control when you're playing back your footage. So to summarize, use Shift and the number keys to switch panels. Use F in the timeline to find the source clip and match the frame. Use Option Command V or Alt Control V to paste attributes from one clip to another. To apply a master clip effect, simply click on the master tab in Lumetri Color. Option drag or Alt drag to do a replace edit. Activate the Global Effects Mute button in the Program Monitor to turn all effects on and off. You can Command click or Control click in the timeline to create keyframes. And finally, you can use Shift L and Shift J to fine tune the playback speed. So I hope these tips are helpful to you. Watch my other videos and subscribe for more tips and tricks.